Vashik, uh, at Wimbledon last year, obviously a lot of excitement, that amazing quarterfinal run. Since then, the ranking kind of been heading in the, in the opposite direction you'd like it to be. How do you assess where your game is right now? Yeah, well, it's important to look at the positive things. You know, I've been, I've been uh, training very hard, working hard every day, uh, just trying to be positive, waiting for and staying patient, waiting for my, my moment again. And, uh, yeah, it hasn't been the year that I've wanted so far this year, but, uh, you know, things will turn around soon, I'm sure. So I just have to, to stay patient, and I'm playing well, so it's just a matter of time. Yeah, when you look at your last few matches, uh, I think five of six have gone the distance, three sets, and you've lost five of six. What do you think is holding you back right now? Can you put your finger on anything? Uh, no, it's just it's how it goes sometimes. You know, the sport, uh, tennis, it's up and down. Uh, you know, you're co confident one one time of the year, then not so much the other. Right now, I'm just trying to fight through a tough a tough patch, and for sure, on, on a surface, I don't I don't necessarily like to play on as much as the other uh, the other uh, two. So, uh, yeah, just just staying patient, really, and and just trying to p stay positive, and that's the the main thing, the most important. Yeah, Clay has not been your friend in your career thus far. What is it about the surface that you don't think suits your game? Yeah, well, a couple things. I mean, I, of course, uh, you know, I grew up on hard court. I kind of created my game style around that surface, and and have have some unfortunate circumstances as well. The last few years, I mean, I played uh, quite a few matches injured <laughs> on this surface. Uh, so you know, almost 50%. When I look back at my lo matches the last four years, I've been having some kind of issues, be it back or ankle. So uh, that as well it ha hasn't helped my my cause uh, to get you know confidence on this surface, but. But I'm healthy right now, so it, there's uh, just, uh, you know, I can only move forward from here, really. Folks would say the draw was uh, not kind to you. You got the number seven seed in the first round, Thomas Burdick. At the same time, you've won the two previous matchups you've had against him, although both on hard courts. How do you see this matchup, and what do you have to do to beat him again? Yeah, well... Yeah, you pretty much know that there. You know, I played him on, on hard courts at times when I was playing well and I was confident. And, uh, you know, right now, uh, of course, it's not necessarily the period that I'm in, a confident one. But uh, but I have played him two times before, and I have beaten him both, both those times. So I'll definitely have that edge that I'll that I'll try to take into the match. And, and it's definitely good memories, you know, playing him on, on the court, beating him. So uh, I'll try to use that to my advantage and, and try to turn it around. Obviously, sometimes the draws are going to be good. Sometimes the draws aren't going to be as good. Uh, when you see your matchup and you're playing a top 10 seed, what goes through your mind? Uh, not much. I mean, yeah, of course, you'd rather have uh, an opening and play play some lower ranked guys early. But uh, at the end of the day, if you want to do well, you're going to have to beat somebody high ranked. So if that's uh, you know, if I can do it in the first round, then 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 maybe uh, you know it'll open up the draw a little bit. But but uh, you know, I, we're playing these events. You want to you want to go deep. You don't want to just win one round. So if you look at it that way, it's not not the end of the world either, but uh, but definitely a, a tough uh, tough first round. But at the same same time, I don't have much to lose, uh, anything to lose really. So I'll go out there and uh, do my best. I mentioned uh, the Wimbledon run last year earlier in the interview. How much is that on your mind that you're going back to Wimbledon, uh, where you'll have good memories, but also a lot of points to defend? Uh, just I mean, I'm I'm excited to go back. Yeah. Uh, re regardless, of course, there's a little bit of extra pressure because I have points co coming off, but. But uh, I'm not looking at it that way. I'm just looking at it uh, in the way that uh, it's my favorite tournament of the year, pretty much, favorite surface, and I'm just excited to go back. I've had incredible memories there the last couple of years, so I uh, can really only take positive uh, emotions from, from that event uh, coming up. At the U.S. Open last year, you know, you had the trouble in the heat, and you vowed, you know, it's never going to be a problem again. What sort of, what sort of changes have you made in the offseason leading into this season to combat that? Yeah, well, I've I've, I've taken a uh, you know detailed look at nutrition and and everything about uh, you know my body that I can do to adjust to those situations and and uh, also change up my fitness uh, uh, you know routines and and I'm working with a new fitness guy and everything so so hopefully I've uh, I've pretty much uh, nailed that and I'm hoping that's not an issue but but of course uh, you know I have a history of that a little bit so I'll see how it goes this year. All right, let me let me be more positive here. Let me ask you a positive question. You and Jack Sock continue to play doubles, continue to have success finals in Rome. Uh, has your you know perception of the way you approach doubles changed at all as you continue to play with him, continue to have success? No, not at all. Uh, not, not at all. Honestly, it's still the same way it, it's been the last two years. Um, I'm, I, I pretty much don't spend one second thinking about doubles uh, during the day until it's time to play. You know, then we're like, okay, well, let's 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 focus on tactic here, but. But uh, I mean, I'm 100% focused on on singles right now, and and uh, you know, all my my ambitions are around the singles court at the moment, and maybe that'll change in the future. But at the moment, it's it's really just something that that we're both enjoying, and and 
of course, when we step on the court, we want to win, and it's nice to get titles and make finals, but uh, but definitely singles focus still. And the plan to play with Milos at the Olympics, are you guys going to play at all before then or talk at, at all about it? Yeah, we, we, we'll play a couple events. Uh, we're looking to play in Toronto, which, which, will, be, which will be nice, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. In general, is the stuff that's come up with Rio and the Olympics, some of the security things, the Zika virus, does that give you any pause about going? No, no, I, uh, no, no. It's the Olympics. Uh, it's, I've been excited for you know the last four years to play again. So, so definitely nothing that I'm concerned about. Um, I'm going to go there and I'll be excited and I'll do my best to, to get a medal uh, and to do well in singles and uh, as well. So we'll see. And the men's tour, there's been some talk that perhaps you know best of five should be phased out. We should go to best to best of three at least in the early rounds of Grand Slams. Do you do you think that that's an idea worth examining? Oh, absolutely! It's an idea worth examining. Well, if, if, um, you know, you, I could I could sit here and, and uh, talk about the pros and cons of both because there are you know pros and cons of, in both situations. That's you know, there's no doubt about that. But uh, it's definitely something that I think uh, that that could be explored. And and I, I would be for I would be for that actually. You know, even for long-term health, the body. I mean, it's 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 difficult playing best of five five set match. Uh, you know, kind of we can have slightly longer careers maybe if if we we are not. Uh, you know, exposing our body to such stress, but uh, you know there are other factors to look at as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, possibility of a hybrid type thing where the first few rounds are until you get to the quarters, or then maybe the last few rounds are best of five. Yeah, absolutely. I'm 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 a I'm a fan of that. I was actually speaking on this subject with some, someone last year as well, and and I I uh, suggested that it should be best of three until the quarters and from quarters. So you pretty much are speaking my thoughts there. But uh, yeah, it's the possible it be, plan. Yeah. That's what we're calling it. Yeah, there we go. No, but uh, I, I would I would be I would be for that. Yeah. All right, Vashik, you got some autographs to yeah, side behind yeah, you here. Noise, we'll, we'll let you go. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Vashik. Thank you. Slightly distracting there. I know, they're getting closer and closer.